so many technologies that allow people to use the power of the crowds to build uh, cities uh, and villages and, and, and farms. We've got uh, um, uh, citizens in Rotterdam building bridges and funding bridges. We've got cafes and local stores in uh, San Francisco managing parts of their public uh, streets. We've got so many initiatives uh, uh, really carried out by, by, by regular citizens. Makers uh, changing, uh, changing the local space. We've got this, the, 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 the City Hall of Barcelona asking maker spaces how they could improve uh, life in the uh, Champla neighborhood, for instance, and maker spaces creating some new, some new uh, values. So technology, technologically, we are already there. And um, governments and companies are changing their behaviors because people using these technologies. The questions here are maybe there are some limitations in terms of uh, society, in terms of uh, politics, in terms of uh, even laws. And finally, individually, are we ready? Are we ready individually to be participating um, constantly uh, in, how, uh, in deciding how we want to live? Um, I've got some doubt. Socially, uh, are we willing to create a divided so society uh, where we've got the uh, digitally prepared uh, and the unprepared. So the digitally prepared will be participating in deciding, and those who are not, they will just sitting and waiting. Politically, um, are uh, politicians and governments uh, willing to uh, open up uh, democratic, democ democratic processes? It's happening. It's slow. Uh, my guess is going to, to, to come to reality, but it's going to be very slow. And finally, legally. Uh, legally, in, I mean, technology always moves faster than, than laws. So um, we need to create free bureaucratic zones for innovation and new urban spaces to happen. Those are the three challenges, because te technologically, we are already there, to me.